let me show you how to actually turn any Android phone into a dumb phone. If you have already tried to disable these system apps such as Chrome and YouTube, the time wasting apps, then you already know it's uh, not possible really to do that uh, because you can very easily enable them back in, in the settings. However, there is a way to completely delete them from the devices and you don't even need to root your device. And for this process you'll need a Windows laptop and your charger cable to connect to the computer. Then you have to download this app, basically ADB App Control, so from this website. Uh, it's a free app, they also have a paid version, but really you can do everything in the free one. So make sure you download and open this app first. Then you have to go to your phone settings actually, and uh, basically uh, you have to enable developer options. This is on Samsung phone, on Pixel phone for example, it's very similar. So you go to your about phone and find your build number. So on Samsung it's in a software information basically. Then uh, click build number seven times basically. So click it. So you see developer mode has been enabled. Then go back and access your developer options. Again, if you have different phones, simply find where you can access these developer options. Then in this list, uh, make sure to uh, enable this USB debugging. And we actually need this to, to be able to do this stuff. Then we need to connect uh, with our cable to our laptop. And once connected, uh, and you make sure also you open the tab before you connect it. Make sure to allow this USB debugging. So all of that stuff and if you don't see this stuff basically you can also swipe down and click one of these options here use usb for uh, like uh, debugging or something like that so use that basically if you don't see that pop up here then uh, this app already like phone or phone here basically and will ask you to install this ac bridge uh, if you want to ask, if you have pr problems maybe finding some app names uh, you can install this however it's not really needed so if you have some problems install it then in this list let's find uh, the chrome okay click on the chrome and then select this here basically select uninstall and click uninstall okay it gives you a warning so yep make sure also to back it up if you want to restore it at some time okay let it do its job Okay, it took a couple of seconds on install. Then if you want to, for, for example, uh, turn it back on, you can click this uninstall tab here and you'll find this Chrome basically. Click on Chrome basically and click this restore option and you can restore it back if you ever need that. But again, so you can disconnect the phone as you can see, I don't have the Chrome anymore. And really, um, even if I go to the apps list, you can see I don't have Chrome anymore here. If you like disable it just from the phone, you can quickly enable it here in this menu. But obviously you see, I completely delete it from this phone. And by the way, so simply select all the apps you want to actually uninstall, the ones you are actually wasting your time on. And also I suggest you delete your Play Store as well. Maybe update all your apps that you, maybe you haven't updated in some time and simply uninstall that Play Store for using this software as well. So you aren't able to uninstall back any new apps. And really maybe uh, you can plug it to your computer and enable black back the play store uh, once a month to update all your apps or install any that you actually really need but you you won't be able to actually access your play store or like any time wasting apps like without really uh, either like completely factory resetting your phone or again connecting to your pc or laptop so it's actually very effective and again if you want to restore all the stuff, you will have to basically do a full factory reset uh, because these apps are still stored in the system recovery images. They are undeleted from that, so you can recover them without a computer even. If this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe. See you.